Hello you guys and welcome again. We're gonna look at another thing today. It's a it's a let me try it for you. I found something called Seclist. So let's go ahead and look at this. Now I think I have it installed on my own computer already. So I basically just want to show you that there are many different hacking tools that you can go ahead and explore here on the latest hacking news which is where I mainly find my inspiration at the current moment because it is my Easter vacation. So I've been, yeah, taking it slowly. And I know that I haven't been doing a lot of try hack me lately. I'm going to do more of that in the future, but for now I'm heading more down the path where I'm gonna explore different tools and, you know, let you guys get some inspiration from other things and tools and just the typical and map and go past and whatever I've been doing for ages. So in the long run, you know, I want to try something new as well, but this sec list is basically just a, a list of, of different, um, files you can download. And, and basically you can see here that you download it from the, um, so zip file, or you can download it from a git or whatever. Uh, if you want to like the git complete, it seems like. So basically just, you could, it's even on, on uh, the APT. So I guess we can just go ahead and, and do like um, sudo apt get install seg list. Yes, we could do that. Now I have already installed it. So let me just see if we can find it. Mm. I think, yeah, it's on the, so user, share, and sec list, yeah, there we go. Let me just clear the screen. So what you have here is a different variety of different, um, of different again, <laughs> uh, discovery, fuzzing, IOCs, miscellaneous, password, pattern matching, payload, repeat file, username, and web shells. Now, if we, if we go ahead and check out the one called usernames. You can see that we get a lot of text files containing, you know, loads of different names we can use. The like uh, common admin base 64. So we could be, be just look at that, say common and, and, and see what is the, the common base 64 encoded um, values for different users. Can be used in different kind of variety of fussing attacks or whatever. Um, also got something called honeypot capture. Not really sure what, what that is, to be honest. I haven't really not looked at all of it, but let's just have a look. So let's head out whatever is inside this file. Yeah, I'm, I wouldn't... Multiple sources use a Fabian Fingal. Well, it's not something that I really know anything about this. I must be honest, I don't know anything. I do not know everything, but at this particular case, I'm going to say not sure about this one. However, I think this is a really good list because you can go back and see that you got like fussing attacks. I'll oh, just like fussing, thank you. And then you have a lot of different things. Let me just clear this for you. You have a lot of different things here. You can fuss like one to four all letters, ATC, three digits. So let's let's assume that you that you get like some um um pin code you get a crack or some part with four digits, well, then you can use this file here and, and basically just start right away. No no particular reason to wait or something for it or generate it. You, you, of course, you can generate many things. There's a tool called Crunch on, um, on Linux that can, I think, yeah, um, it, it just generated, you know, uh, all the different combinations of A to C by typing one, two, uh, <laughs> don't ask me exactly what it means, but there are tools in Linux you can use to generate yourself, you know, awesome uh, lists. Um, just have a look at what's more here. So let's go to passwords. That's the general thing people are mostly looking for. I guess most of you guys who are doing try hack me are used to the uh, um, uh, rockyou.txt password list which is also really good, but sometimes you know that you are hacking Citrix or Clarkson University, you know, it's, <laughs> that's a thing, you know, maybe, 
I don't know. If the, if does this really mean that Clarkson University got these kind of typical passes? I don't know. I don't know really. Most popular letter f passes. So I guess I let's see most. Yeah. Funny. So there are so many different kind of passwords you can go through here. PHP mag magic hashes. So many things other than um, just uh, rock you. So so I guess Twitter banned. Now I'm, <laughs> I, I'm. You know this is just. It makes me want to look. Yeah, you cannot use these passwords on Twitter. You know I, I'm just heading it out. So there are lots of lots of password. If I'm carrying that out. This out instead. So let's say Twitter. Then you get like a lot of kind of passwords that is not allowed on Twitter. I would seem that would be the correct understanding of this. Going on back again, we can see that we also have miscellaneous, so we can we can try that. And what is this? Um, curl protocol, DNS resolver, domain one million, top language, English, French, Spanish, you know, different kind of. Interesting. So if I do like Lang Spanish, what if I'm getting? I'm getting different kind of words. Abajo, abierto, abrir. Different kind of Spanish words here they can use. So if you're a brute force thing or you're trying to brute force your way through a hash you found and you know it's it's a Spanish, you know, user, well, maybe it's a really good idea to use Spanish words because no matter how wild rock you list is, it is very English. And I think the typical thing is that hackers these days think very, very much um, alike. So it's, it's, it's all about the country where you're from and they don't really, they isolate themselves to one particular country, which is not the best idea always. So let me just try another one here for the last one. Let me clear it again. Let's go to payloads. And we have this like antivirus. Let's let's have a look at it. And it got like something like this. And it not really sure what that is either, but if you're watching my video and you know what it is, leave a comment below. I'm gonna read it for sure and give you a thumbs up for it. Yes. Um But it's it, it seems like it's some sort of, you know, evasion technique. I guess. I don't know. So I have a zip bombs. What is that? There's so many things. Um, yeah, bomb. Because there's some different kind of zip files. I'm not really sure if, sh if, if I should open these, but um, might be something interesting inside of them. Not really sure, but. These are very interesting. So let me just clear one more time. We also have images. What is that? Okay, so if I do like strings on uber dot like that. I said strings. Thank you. Netscape. All right, so I'm not really sure what this is. You know, I, I just the word of images and payloads, you know, it might be some image that contains something. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, it's a very small image, it would seem. Uh, the size is also quite small, but I wouldn't say one times one is satisfied with the size it seems weird so yeah something might go on here anyways i would like to to leave this to you guys do you like sec tools you know i i think i think i, I think i like this this is okay you know i i always look for 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 stuff what i what i think is a, the problem with this is that um when you are doing or performing a pen test just for fun, for giggles, for a real job, you know, you're in the industry, you're hired, I don't know, maybe for other reasons, you know, I, I, I'm not saying anything particular about how, but just saying I might struggle a bit finding the right file. The the ones that's already there on, on Linux Kali on the user share word list, they are 
in many ways pretty good. I wouldn't say brute forcing is the way to go technique to try to get access because in many cases there should be some sort of ideas intrusion detection or intrusion prevention system going on that should stop your attack or just the actual code should at least take care of the very basic ones and you should be locked in some way and then maybe excluded from the network so i think it's okay what do you think now please leave a comment below telling me what you think about this and until next time i'll hope you had a lot of easter eggs of chocolate or whatever kind you're eating so have a nice day bye